All right, guys, we're back working on the 1982 XR200R, and this is the rear disc brake conversion. I'm going a little overboard here, I think, but I'm going to be converting the drum to disc brake. I've started here already. As you can see, I have the rear master cylinder on with rear brake cable. I'm gonna be modifying the brake pedal from the bike just to push up on the master cylinder itself. And then I'm gonna be putting on, I have an RMZ 250 uh, rear, uh, I have the whole bike, but I have the rotor that I'm gonna take off. <clears throat> I got this rim, this rim is gold for whatever reason, and my bike has a silver front. So I got another XR rim uh, that I'm gonna be working on. I'm gonna make some sort of a hub or disc that's gonna bolt in here. I'll drill and tap four bolt holes um, and it'll press in here, and then I'll drill it and tap it for the rotor. And then I'm gonna be keeping the steel swing arm for now. This swing arm's pretty cool. It's extended two inches. Um, I'm gonna be chopping all this off, chopping that off probably, and I'll just make a mount on the inside of the swing arm for um, the brake apparatus. And lo and behold, there it is. So that's gonna slide in there like that. And I'm hoping that the RMZ 250 rear rotor is gonna be a nice fit on this bike, but we'll see. All right, so here's the bike I was talking about earlier. Got me a little jack over here. Let's go around the back. And you can see the setup right there. Took some quick measurements. I think this rotor is gonna fit nicely on the XR real rear rim. Just gonna jack the bike up, take the wheel off and then we'll see how it fits. All right, so I'm gonna start by grinding off this little uh, mounting bracket for the rear brake cable. I'm not positive that this one is stock. Looks like somebody made it up and kind of just tack welded it on. It sort of worked, but I did everything I could to get um, some braking power out of these rear drums and it just wasn't for me. So that's why I'm going to the disc. All right, so I pulled the drum brakes out and I put the rear axle back through. I fitted the RMZ uh, rear caliper and bracket, as you can see here. I got the rear sprocket lined up just by eye for now, looks okay. Um, what I'll do at some point is put the spacers back in on this side. So I set my exact width. Um, there is a stub here welded on the inside of the XR uh, swing arm. I'm going to take the wheel off and see if I could grind it down to fit the slot in the RMZ uh, caliper bracket. And that might, if I get lucky, might work out. It looks like it's going to be close. guys can really see what's going on here uh, this was the steel nub that's welded onto the swing arm that used to keep the drum brake mechanism or housing I should say uh, from spinning when you press on the brake um, the disc brakes have something similar but because it's a piece of aluminum it slides in this channel I'm not sure I mean I'm gonna try it anyway I'm gonna try to grind this down to the same size as this slot. It's pretty close right now, believe it or not. Um, if it starts to wear funny over time, or if this starts breaking, then I'll machine something this shape and I'll weld that onto the swing arm. I think we got it. Let's see if I could slide the caliber over it. Okay, perfect. So now we have the ability to adjust the chain, slide the rear wheel backwards or forwards, get it where we need, and this will hold the wheel from spinning when we apply the brake.
right, moving right along. So the inside diameter of the RMZ brake caliper stay is much larger than the bolt from the XR, as you can see here. Um, I also needed this to actually slide forward about mm, eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths of an inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make up a bushing, a steel bushing out of some of this one inch stock I have here. That's what the collet is for. I'm gonna cut a piece with the grinder, the same width as this, roughly. Uh, I'm sorry, a little bit longer so I could stick it in a lathe. Uh, I'm only going to bore the center of it, offset in the four jaw chuck. I'll either bore it offset for the diameter of the XR200 bolt, and that'll give me a little more play this way, or I'm gonna put this in my milling machine and bore that offset. This I think might be hard to hold. I might have a better chance of boring the one inch steel. Okay, so I have my four jaw chuck here. Uh, it's mounted to a 5C collet, so it could fit right into the lathe. I'm gonna pop out the one inch uh, collet that I have in there now. I just cleaned up this slug. I'll mount it off center in the four jaw, which I'll show you guys in a minute. And then we could bore the hole for the axle. Before we could get that going, I had the jaw spun around in reverse. Uh, I must've been holding something big. Um, so I'm gonna one by one, screw them out just like that basically they just screw out you flip them around and you screw them back in you can see i did this one already so now i'll have much more clamping force because i'll have the whole entire jaw to hold the part okay so i put some uh blue sharpie on the end of the steel slug and mounted it offset and you can see it's turning sort of oblong shape um, I brought my drill bit in and I just made a little mark, just drilled the tip in, you know, just slightly. Then what I'm going to do is I measure the diameter of my shaft. I take half of the diameter of the shaft, which ended up being 338 thousandths. I come here and I measure out from the center to the edge. And hopefully you guys can see that. I'm still gonna have about an eighth of an inch wall on that side. My other side, I'm fine. If I move the caliper over, you can see I'm gonna have about 3 sixteenths of an inch left. So that's gonna give me the throw that I need uh, because of the size of the rotor. kept stepping it up, you know, one or two drill bits at a time. I really didn't want to go crazy putting a lot of pressure on this, mainly because I don't love this Chinese four jaw chuck, but <clears throat> did the job for now. And then we could see how our shaft is gonna fit. That's perfect guys, very nice. 